David Madison Cawthorn, U.S. Representative for North Carolina's 11th Congressional District. We have a message for you from the XRP community. Dear Representative Cawthorn, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, they have a mission statement. It is to protect investors, promote fairness, and share information about companies to help investors. They have not done so in their lawsuit against Ripple. Instead, they have knowingly and intentionally caused multi-billion dollar losses to innocent investors who have purchased, exchanged, and or acquired the digital asset XRP, the third largest cryptocurrency in the world. And they have done so at the direction of the former SEC Chair, Jay Clayton. For seven plus years, the SEC had full awareness and gave implicit permission to trade this asset. And now they have decided to take a position and declare the digital asset XRP an unregistered illegal security. This has resulted in massive damage. So, in the claim, they have targeted the company Ripple, completely separate from the decentralized digital asset XRP. It is an asset that provides utility for many, many use cases. One of the most important is to reduce the cost of cross-border remittances. This is a focus that has been recently outlined by the G20. It is also used as a currency for the compensation of riders and esports players. It's even a shareholder benefit for a publicly held financial giant in Asia. These are just citing a few of the use cases. Maybe the most dramatic improvement is to our world's financial system. In a demo test that just took place where XRP has shown how it can solve to reduce costs in more than 50% of the 6.6 .6 trillion daily trade in the foreign exchange markets. That is something that occurs with swaps, this movement of money globally, and using the digital asset XRP as a bridge currency is extremely important. And keep in mind, there are no allegations of fraud or misrepresentations in the claim made by the SEC. This action really will most likely have a disastrous spillover effect in the entire technology sector that utilizes blockchain, putting the United States not only at a disadvantage to be a leader in this innovation, but it cuts America off at the knees to compete globally. This wrongful action, should the SEC be allowed to prevail, is going to be damaging all of the alternative cryptocurrencies, some several hundred of them that are actively right now solving real world problems. Congress must stop this and really stop the attack by the government's very own bad actor. We're blowing the whistle. Thank you very much for your time. The XRP community.